What's up guys, Harker Hector here. Today I'm going to show you how quickly and easy it is to connect a Bluetooth device to your Windows 10 computer. In case you don't know, Bluetooth is like a wireless signal that connects one piece of hardware to another. There's a lot of different Bluetooth devices out there. We have Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones, even a Bluetooth controller. So I'm saying it's quick and easy because it is, and I'm going to show you how to do it in real time. First, you need to make sure that your computer actually has Bluetooth hardware in it. Pretty much all new laptops have a Bluetooth receiver already built into it. With desktops, it could be hit or miss. Since I built my own desktop, I already knew that I didn't have Bluetooth hardware in it. So I just bought this little USB receiver and that's all I needed to receive a Bluetooth signal or Bluetooth device and connect it. Alternatively, there's this huge card that you can put into your PCIe slot, but this isn't just Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it has an antenna, so the range is a lot better than this little USB receiver, and I can usually hear things through walls and stuff, whereas this, if I go into the bathroom right on the other side of the wall, the uh, signal starts to break up. All right, so let's say your computer does have some Bluetooth hardware in it. So let's go into the settings. So from your Windows desktop, you can go to this bottom right thing and then click Bluetooth tile right here. You can also right clicking, go to settings and you'll automatically go to the Bluetooth settings. If for some reason your little menu on this right side does not have a Bluetooth tile, you can also go to the Windows start menu, click settings and then click devices. It'll go to the exact same menu as if you went down here and right clicked Bluetooth. And then so this is the Bluetooth menu it's off. Now I turn Bluetooth on. And now that Bluetooth is on my computer, I need to turn on the device that I'm going to be connecting to my computer. So I turn on my Xbox One wireless controller. Oh, it noticed there's a Bluetooth device nearby, but it's not connected yet. The power is just on. Next, you have to enable sync mode for your Bluetooth device. With this controller, there's a sync button right here. I just hold it and then this light starts flashing to indicate that it's, it's in sync mode. Then I go back to the desktop, add Bluetooth or other device, click Bluetooth, and there's the Xbox wireless controller. I click it and just like that, my Xbox One wireless controller is set up to my Windows 10 computer wireless, wirelessly through Bluetooth. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's how you connect a Bluetooth device to a Windows 10 computer. If you want to remove it, you can just click on that device and click remove device. And then a little bit further down the menu are the audio options. So you can see that I have my JBL headphones attached to here. And if I don't want to completely remove the device, but I want to use my headphones, let's say connected to my smartphone, I can just disconnect it off my Windows computer and then select it in the options, the Bluetooth options for my phone to connect the headphone to the phone. So there are other options, disconnect, remove device, and then connect device. Those are pretty much the only options. It's pretty simple. Oh yeah, but there was this other weird thing when it comes to Bluetooth headphones connecting to your Windows uh, computer. Since a lot of Bluetooth headphones have both speaker headphones and a mic in them, Sometimes when you connect the headphones, it'll automatically use this mic instead of any other mic that might be connected to your computer. So to fix that, you just go into the sound options and select a different recording device. I also have another video explaining all these sound options in Windows 10. But that's pretty much it for this video, how to connect a Bluetooth device to your Windows 10 computer. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you're still confused, you need some, you need some more help. You can leave a comment, and I'll try and fix it or fix my videos because I want to teach all these newbies how to use all these simple options. You know, a lot of people are like, I don't know how to do this. I don't understand. And if you still don't understand after I teach you, then I need to find a different way how to teach. And then uh, there's also my website, hxehector.com where I do some t tech tips, strategy guides, a bunch of different things. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel where I do uh, tech tips, strategy guides, gameplay commentary, live streams, a bunch of different things. And also, I will leave links in this description box to Amazon listings for this uh, Bluetooth USB 
uh, receiver and for this Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna PCIe card. So if you want to buy either of these, you can use my links and I'll get a small cut of it, but it won't cost you guys anything extra. It'll just help keep my YouTube channels and my websites running. So yeah, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, hxchector.com, whatevs. <laughs> See you guys later.